Thank you for staying with us. A former deputy governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, Kingsley Mohalu, has backed Nobel laureate Wale Shoinka. Criticism of Dati Baba Ahmed, running mates of the Labour Party presidential candidate, Peter Obi. Shoinka said during an interview that the comments of Labour Party vice presidential candidate, Dati Baba Ahmed, about the judiciary using fascist language were unacceptable. Baba Ahmed had said that the country has no president elect despite the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, announcing Bola Ahmed Tinobu of the All Progressive Congress as the winner of the election. Baba Ahmed stated that Tinobu would be leading an unconstitutional government if sworn into office because the APC candidate has not met the requirements of the law. Today, tight. Mm. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, Shohin Khan is a Nigerian living legend, he's an institution, he's a man globally arrested, I mean uh, respected, and for ill-bred young people Gen Z. to be abusing mm, such it. It shows that some of the people we are dealing with are actually even terrorists, people who have lost their brains, they don't know what they are doing anymore. Maybe some of them are actually hyperbelements that we are dealing with. Because uh, the question that Mogalu was asking is that, is, is Johnny Kalu abusing, you no? Know? Hmm. Is it that you've not got parents or they didn't tell you stories? Or you didn't read about his exploits? You know, hmm. this is a man, you know, very few people from, this, from the Southwest supported the Biafran war. So he is on record to have, in principle, actually supported the idea. He wanted change. Now, is this same man that you are abusing all over the place because he advised Peter Obi to caution his supporters? How is that a crime? Even Peter Obi himself cautioned the supporters that, look, when the tribunal begins to sit, I don't want you to go there. Don't go, you know, the kind of the way some people try to flood the federal high court any day that Unam um, yeah. um, is brought to court. You know those first few uh, hearings? Yeah, so, you see so the way, difficult. Yeah, mm -hmm. where all these things are not. security to curtail you know, if it would be had seen that, look, that would not be to anybody's good. And he said, please, Stay don't off. go there. Stay away. So there's nothing wrong in advising him to caution his supporters. One of the reasons many people do not even like Peter Obi is the attitude of his supporters. Mm. Because you can't disagree with them without them insulting you, mm. calling you names. People don't like that. In a democracy... People are bound to disagree with one another. You have facts that I don't have. You have access to facts that I do not have. So I'm bound to respect your views. You can't conclude that, or I can't conclude that what you are saying is trash because mm. I don't know what book you have read. I may not have seen the version that you read. Mm. So, healthy argument is a necessity in a democracy. We don't want to, yeah. So, so you can say, no, you can't do this. And then, so you can say, you dirty. Some of the comments that you made, you shouldn't have made. And I, I stand on that too. You can't look into the camera and be saying that if they swear someone in, that our lives are in danger. How? What are you talking about? And when they told you, look, some of these comments, you are threatening judges, try to give the impression to judges that if they, uh, they, they came for swearing in, their lives could be in danger. What, what, are you, what did you stand to gain? Somebody that hopes to rise to the level of vice president does not even know how to restrain himself when he's speaking to the people. 
And when the uh, uh, young man said, no, this thing, it was at that point that I even got angry and was looking into the camera. No, somebody has to tell him that he stepped beyond his bounds. Mm. It's like a fighter fighting above his weight category. So this is the thing. Shoika has not done anything wrong by cautioning that. I do not see another TV station allowing that to go to the extent that he went. Mm. And when I asked, was that his best shot? All the senior broadcasters I met in this profession that I asked that what should have been done in the circumstance, they told me that the best thing would have been to go on the break and send him out of the studio if he would not stop talking yes. and inciting people. Because you have the power. We have done it before. There's no big deal about it. You know, mm. so now Shoyinka has commented on it and then you're abusing him. So that's what got Mohalu angry. And Mohalu said, I view very dimly any criticism of Shoyinka simply because he's objective. He survived di dictators, he will survive you. His endorsement of my 2019 presidential candidacy is in my short lived but impactful foreign to Nigerian electoral politics remains one of the greatest honors of my life. So, as far as he's concerned, Shoinka is an objective person. And what he said was objective, and he does not deserve to be insulted the way these little boys were, have been uh, uh, insulting little boys and girls. Because there was a 19 year old girl on Twitter even threatening me, and I said, ah, You see what life has turned to? 19 year old. Threatening me. Oh. <laughs> what do you make of this, you know? This back and forth over uh, that is um, comment and the intervention of Professor Holly Shinka. You know, just, I want, I'm laughing over what Julius said, the 19 years old um, mm -hmm. person threatening me. Uh, he said, Don't yeah, come that, to Ogun State. That's, 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 that's <laughs> what's what's and I live in Ogun State. That's social media for you. A lot of things are happening. It's faceless there. people. A lot of things are happening. And you don't Frustrated. Have mm. If you cannot maintain your prudence, just go there. It's crazy. All manner no, of things no, are happening. If you don't want to endanger mm -hmm. your sanity, a just, lot just of leave them happening. alone. A lot of things are happening. Mm. Professor Wole Shinka spoke. It is his opinion. One thing I'm, not, I'm, I'm observing lately, you know, even before the election, you know, especially with the social media, is that you don't, you, you don't have the right to your opinion. Nah. That right to your opinion, it seems to have been taken away. Mm. Because once you make it, you see some people coming up and, I mean, it's, it's something we, we should look into, yeah. I have to support have, Yeah, I don't you have, have to, support to look, my candidates. yeah, I don't have to, you know, tell your own line. This is my you, yeah. view. Mm. This is my view. And please, can you just respect it? Mm. That is where we have a problem right now. Roche Wolochi came out and he's not happy with what um, that he made said on TV. That is his opinion. That is his opinion. And Professor Wolochi Inka is, is not a, an unknown person in this country. He's, a, he's respected globally and all mm. that. And just as what Gigi said, just check out those people who are attacking him on a good day. Mm. You know? So that's, that's the problem I have. It's a very distressful that is generation. What I, I saw it and I... And then Mogolo came out this morning. That's, I think, early this morning, you know. You know, support of what Professor Wally Schenk said. And, people, and again, again people they start abusing him. And attacking him. <laughs> he's, you he's know, attacking him. I, again, cyber mob stars. I, which is wrong. I said <laughs> we need to douse this tension. Election has been contested, it's been won. Mm. The next thing is the court. We need to de-escalate what is going on right mm. now. Tension. Tension. Mm. Yes. To bring it down. We don't need this. We don't need this. Because there's no other Why way. Why do you think that they are here? Yeah. I was telling uh, I didn't no allow way. us to I didn't allow us here to de descend on uh, on uh, Wanyao. I was only out yeah. for a de-escalation of uh, yeah. things. No because, and many people were happy. They said, did they will like what yeah, you did. Yeah. I didn't allow yeah. us to attack him. It doesn't matter. No, the, no, the video can't. was there. Mm. Was, you know, it doesn't matter. What do you we know, gain? There is no other way. There is no other way, constitutionally, legally speaking. There's no other thing Nigerians, Nigerians can do now. The election has been won. We have a president-elect. That's the truth. Mm. That is the truth. Anybody who has a case now is to go to court. Nigeria is, you know... Um, we cannot afford to burn this country. Mm -mm. Let's be realistic. That's the thing. There's no, there's no yeah, other And thing. that's what some we of those comments that that team made, that's what he yes, pointed exactly. to. exactly. And that's what he's correcting. Uh -uh. And he has made his opinion. We cannot afford to burn this country. 
that the judges should not go to the inauguration? Telling the president, ah. you're telling the president not to um, allow this thing and allow the election to go through. You're talking, you're appealing to the CDN. Is, is I think, the president, I think, uh, is you know, the president the court? No, when you now say that, you're, you telling, the power? you're telling the president to continue because it's, it's not possible. No, when it, you, said, you, cannot, you cannot tell the president to no allow the president to He has no power to stop money. the election. It, it has, it, it's, mm. it's been concluded and on May 29, 2023, Somebody has to be sworn in because he's in this. I don't know. I don't know how this is for his deal. Yes, Professor Olusi. That's him. why they brought in. Actually, uh, they brought in uh, um, uh, uh, OBJ because he started this whole thing hmm. with that letter that he came up with even before the process ended, before the coalition. Now, mm -hmm. if you can mm -hmm. tell mm -hmm. the president that he should, they should cancel election. Where will the president take, have take that power to do from? That. Where yeah. he doesn't have the power. Mm -hmm. And you are telling him to do it. That means you want anarchy. Exactly. And that's why those lawmakers said, why didn't the DSS invite Obasanjo to come and talk? Hmm. You that you can't win, you can't win your polling booth for your candidate. We said it that it does not have electoral value. They say, oh, why are you bothered if it doesn't have electoral value? Did he win his polling unit? Hmm. Did he? Hmm. He didn't win his polling unit. Even that, I'm hunting for the, the result of his polling unit. In Kaduna. In Kaduna. I will get it. Mm. Let us see whether he won. Mm. If you he are standing all over the place. Us. Let us see whether he won. I think it's from Sabon Giri or, or somewhere. Some Let's see whether he won his polling unit. You have the results. You can send it because to if you can't win your need, polling unit, need, um, it means even in your locality, they don't like you, yes. you are not popular. We want, you must be able to deliver your polling unit. Mm -hmm. You may not even win your word, but your polling unit. But if you are popular, Hmm. When you're pulling a unit, let us see. And the rhetoric after the election has not helped us at all. The, the rhetoric. Mm -hmm. What so, are if you look at the issue men, now, like the PDP, saying, I think Kwabaka, they've gone to court, has gone to court. It's not even making noise. It's not making noise. You know, so the case is in court now. So all those rhetorics you're talking about, Unnecessary. How come it is even the person who came court, court that is noisiest? And then you're doing this. You don't understand. I see a contradiction. So if I were any of this political party, my attention should be on the court and trying to see and try to see how we can accelerate the court process. You know that that should be my concern. If I if I am a party to this, face the court. We have a document because all these all these are all these are needless because not when you are when you say you want to when you want to when you want to inspect ballot materials, it takes time. To check ballot materials. Yeah, so that, that, that's where the attention should <laughs> and be. And you, you need facts from the 176,000 uh, registration areas, mm. the polling mm. units. Mm. It's not easy to defend the presidential uh, uh, this thing. So, but at least, they, they, let the attention be there now. You have to be able to show that mm -hmm. you so have overwhelming an avalanche mm -hmm. of facts. Mm -hmm. Avalanche mm -hmm. of facts. Beyond reasonable doubts. So you must Obviously. prove that mm -hmm. the facts that you have, the 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 the, uh, 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 the facts that point to rigging, are so overwhelming as to have altered the 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 result, the result. Mm -hmm. of, so overwhelming enough to affect the outcome. So that's what the, that's the, so the elections are. They, what they always say, what the law says, is that election must be in substantial compliance with the Electoral Act. Mm. It's not saying that there, should, there must not be malpractices. It is impracticable to do election in our country without malpractices. Mm. Even vote buying is an electoral malpractice. Mm. But what the law is saying is that for a person to uh, be... Um, uh, Returned. Yes. He must have won the election, yes. conducted in substantial compliance mm. with the electoral act. All right.